Remember the Trump dossier, the mysterious, totally unverified document that was made public by BuzzFeed and included both scandalous allegations about Donald Trump as well as claims that the web company Webzilla was a front for Russian hacking of the DNC. It was like a parody of a scoop. It was so juicy it had to be true, except it wasn't. Since the dossier's release, Webzilla and BuzzFeed have been battling it out in court. Now, Fusion GPS, the company that may have created the dossier, is fighting efforts to open its books. This week, the company's executives pleaded the fifth to Congress. Why would they do that? What could they be hiding? Is there an innocent explanation? Val Gervitz is a founding partner of Boston Law Group, which is representing Webzilla in all this. Val, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. So this is one of those stories that is central to the Russia scandal and the hysteria around it, maybe the most interesting thing we've seen in the 11 months of all of this, and yet it's undercovered by the press. Bring us up to date really quickly on where we stand now. You're representing the kind of company that was libeled by the people who wrote this. How does Fusion GPS play into it? Well, Fusion GPS is uh, the party that hired Christopher Steele, the British former MI6 uh, spy who wrote the dossier. And so uh, certainly it would be interesting to know uh, who was Fusion GPS representing uh, yes. in, in this transaction? Uh, in other words, who hired Fusion? Who's Fusion's client? What was the underlying purpose of um, uh, the work that Fusion has done? And, and so uh, we sent a subpoena of our own to Fusion, which they're also trying to uh, uh, fight uh, in court in, in Washington. And uh, I understand that um, uh, their folks uh, took the fifth which tells me that, um, well, uh, you know, you can't take the fifth unless you have a reasonable cause to believe that uh, you, the evidence you would give would put you in harm's way, so that, that you would actually be uh, admitting to some kind of a crime. Right, and that's right. that begs the question, what is it that uh, they think that they did wrong? It may be that they're protecting, concerned? they may be protecting the person who paid them. Now, I don't know the answer to who, f who paid for this dossier, but I can tell you what you may know already. In Washington, it is universally believed to be a major Republican donor who was unhappy with Trump. Um, do you know, do you have any evidence for who paid for this? We do not as of yet. We, we will, we're looking for it. Uh, but uh, again, yes, they're clearly trying to protect the identity of their client. How's, how is revealing that identity a crime, however? In other words, right. pleading the fifth doesn't just, you, you can't simply plead the fifth because you don't want to reveal some information. You've got to right. think that that, uh, so um, uh, I kind of view this as, well, uh, a neighborhood bully was hired to throw a rock through your window, and you now want to know who hired him, and the bully doesn't want to tell you. So, uh, that, but I think we can assume that whoever hired Fusion GPS to do this, to hire Steele and to write this dossier, did so in order to derail the Trump campaign. I mean, would there be another reason you would do this? I don't see another reason, and certainly for my client's uh, lawsuit, this would be uh, actionable, uh, important uh, evidence because it's up to us to prove, uh, since we're the plaintiffs, that the allegations against Alex Gubarev, Webzilla, and XBT are completely false. Uh, and one way to prove it is to, to show that the entire motivation for that document was something nefarious. And, 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 so uh, I don't understand. Uh, so just I mean, this is probably a much longer conversation. We've only got a minute. But if you're investigating the Russian collusion story and you're a congressional committee or you're Robert Mueller, wouldn't you want to know who paid for the dossier? Wouldn't that be one of your first questions? Well, of course. Uh, from, from that point of view, you know, maybe the Russians paid Fusion. And, and if so, Fusion right. should admit to it. And I, I suppose then Fusion might have a problem with uh, everything, including treason. Oh, that's a good point. We will find out who paid for that dossier. It's going to be fascinating. I'm certainly working hard that. to find out. Thank you, Val. Great to see you tonight.